Senator John Barrasso says the best way to the sequester cuts is to cut government waste. He points to a government website report from 2011. It shows the federal government wasted $115.3 billion of your tax money on improper payments. The bulk of that $115.3 billion waste, programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and unemployment insurance, that would more than compensate for the $85 billion sequester. Senator John Barrasso joins us. Do you, you don't want to cut Medicare and Medicaid, do you? This is just overpayments made by mistakes in government. Uh, I have a report coming out tomorrow, uh, Greta, that goes through an, uh, government accountability uh, s statements that show there are 51 government programs that are ineffective, uh, overlapping, don't get the job done, 180 of them, economic development programs under five different uh, cabinet positions. We have uh, 173 uh, programs promoting the same thing. We have uh, literacy programs, economic literacy run by 20 different agencies. And we have 55 different jobs programs. And they don't know if anybody that goes through the programs actually, Greta, gets hired for anything. Well, we've done an awful lot here on the record on waste and fraud. Because, I, mean, it, I mean, the federal government's replete with waste. Um, and there are a couple things that have caught my attention. One, I don't know if you mentioned that, but uh, I had no idea the Selective Service, um, and the draft ended about 1973, uh, but you still, of course, have to register, spends $24 million a year and has a staff of 130. I'm not sure we need to spend $24 million when we don't have a draft. And the Veterans Affairs Administration, the VA has 500 public affairs officers. Why do they need 500 public affairs officers? Well, this report, and assuming it's correct, uh, probably is the most stunning to me, is that um, last summer, the, or last fall, rather, the Office of Management Budget, in compliance with the Sequestration Transparency Act of 2012, sent a detailed report to Congress um, and, uh, and noted that uh, under the sequestration that would happen is that the National Drug Intelligence Center would lose $2 million of its $20 million budget. However, um, three months before the OMB even issued its report, um, that agency had been abolished. This is what the president's doing. He's just trying to scare the American people and Congress into raising taxes. And I'm not buying it. We need to cut wasteful Washington spending. And that's why I'm coming out with this report to show so many places. I've been traveling all around Wyoming last week, Greta. People really believe that only about 50 cents of every dollar they send to Washington is used in a constructive way. Taxpayers get the fact that there's a lot of waste in this government, and they understand that even with a sequester, spending is going up. It's just not going up as fast as the president wants it to go up. What I don't get, though, is if, I mean, the first thing you do when you need, the first thing you do is assess how much money you need, and you look to see whether you have any waste or fraud. And I told you that we've been doing these shows for a long time, and you know that about waste fraud. There seems to be absolutely no appetite um, in this city to look for waste and fraud. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, waste and fraud, that wouldn't even hurt anybody if we got rid of it. It's not going to hurt anybody if we do this. You know, but there's just no appetite. Why, why don't politicians want to get rid of waste and fraud? What's the, what's the you know, impediment to that? Well, I have this report coming out uh, tomorrow, too much waste in Washington. And you can go line by line through all of these things. Remember, the president promised back in 2008 he would go line through line through the budget. All the lines are here, Greta. There's well, he incredible hasn't done that. waste. In no. fact, I remember a congressman, was, a congressman wrote him a letter and said he wanted to do that and he never heard do it back. Do with him. That's right. right. He said, I'll come down to the White House and do it with you. I made the same, I'd make the same offer to the president after this report comes out tomorrow, and I'd be happy to go over it with the president line by line. But Gretel, let's face it, the, the sequester is going to hit and uh, the spending will get cut. Uh, and there is no way that Republicans are going to trade a tax increase for a spending cut. We're my, not raising taxes on anyone. My guess is that the American people thought that, uh, that the House and the Senate and the President sincerely went through and got rid of the waste and fraud. And if at that point found out that we needed more revenue, wouldn't oppose it. But I, I imagine some of the resistance is, is because it's just disgusting how much waste and fraud there is here. And there's just no effort to get rid of it. I mean, I, you well, know, Americans are good it. people and want to make sure our government runs well. But the, but the fraud and waste is it's just disgusting. And the other part is people say if you actually had a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution and lived within your means, like American families have to do every year, that then they wouldn't mind trying to help deal with the debt and the deficit. You but without a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution, I say don't send Washington any more money, they'll just waste it. We're talking about $82 billion. Um, we did a story the other night in which um, the Department of Labor said between, I think it was, it was June of 2011 and July of 2012, that they found $5 billion in improper payments for unemployment. $5 billion. Yeah. Well, we found $110 billion in, in uh, inappropriate payments, but 
This government is spending twice now what it did 10 years ago. There is plenty of ways to be deal dealt with. And to think that we can't find 2.5% cuts Cut. uh, without the president having to go around the country trying to scare people in an effort to try to raise taxes. Um, we're a strong and resilient nation. We're going to get through what this president is doing to us, and he's going to find that all these scare tactics and, you know, uh, saying the, the roof is, uh, the sky is falling, um, it's not going to fall unless he forces it down. Senator, thank you. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks for having me.